<laughs> Embarrassed officials admit a teenage tram fanatic has made a mockery of security. Driving it to queue and collecting passengers en route. He crisscrossed the city picking up passengers from South Bank to St Kilda. Police to cut the power to intercept him last night. Eventually stopping the stolen tram in Hawthorne. Now we've all had obsessions that have gotten the better of us, but there's something amazing about a 15 year old kid who dreamt of being a tram driver, handmade his own Yarra Trams jacket, taught himself how to drive a tram, stole a tram from the depot, made it 30 kilometers across the city while picking up passengers. That's right, he made all the stops like a goddamn professional. And the only way we stopped him was by turning the electricity off to the city in what would become known as the tram boy blackout. Only for the police to be so moved by all of this that they don't press charges saying he's a good kid whose obsession with trams got the better of him. Let's watch the clip. Hit it, hit it Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around, always looking at me up and down, looking for at passengers, me. it seemed like any other ride. He's a good driver. <laughs> Drove just like any other normal tram driver. Remember when news was this light back in 2005 when a kid would steal a tram and they'd cut to Brent? Brent, what do you think about this crime? Well, I was on the tram and it was the best 45 minutes of my life. But allegedly at the controls of this tram was a 15 year old with a one track mind. The young lad certainly uh, indicated that he does want to be a tram driver and look, he has a, a uh, an obsession with trams. Did you see how serious a policeman was when he said, He's got an obsession with trams. Tram boy knew what he wanted. He had the will and the volition to make it happen. And now there's a press conference with senior constable Barry Hills. <laughs> I mean, thank God this kid wasn't a terrorist. Police say he swiped a set of keys three weeks ago and taught himself to drive. This young lad uh, has been travelling around on the trams for some time and has been observing the drivers and observing the operating procedures. It's amazing that Tram Boy taught himself how to drive a tram because if you were a tram driver and there was a little kid with a notepad and a pen sat next to you, wouldn't you be a bit suspicious after every button you press he started frantically taking notes? He'd be like, I think this kid, no, no, no one's that crazy. No one's crazy enough to take over a tram. Who would do that? Tram Boy. On a 30 kilometre joyride, it's alleged the teen was wearing a uniform and stopped twice to switch tracks and change direction. He even picked up and dropped off passengers. It's amazing that he was wearing a Yarra Trams uniform. God, I hope his mum designed that. I hope his mum was like, son, here is the uniform. Thank you, mother. Tomorrow the day begins when Tram Boy will be born. Then he also picked up passengers. Wouldn't you step on that tram, you validate your Met card, and you're like, was that? Was that a 15-year-old kid who's wearing a hat and a kind of... The end of the line coming when power was cut and police moved in. He got on the ground and he's like, I just stole this tram. I love that they had to cut off the electricity to bring Tram Boy to a halt. They're like, yeah, we could put police cars in front of him, but who knows how crazy this fucking kid is, all right? He's stolen a tram and he's navigating the tracks. Let's not take any risks. Hospitals? Fuck him. This kid's out of control. He could be an evil genius. Turn the power off, baby. And as you turn the power off, it goes dark and then there's just an imprint of Tram Boy's caricature in the sky. Embarrassed Yarra Trams bosses are now reviewing security at the depot where the trams were taken. Did you see how that tram... <laughs> Did you see how that tram... The boss of the trams walked out like, oh god. I was not built for this. Do you do work experience? Could he have opted for that? Uh, that's another uh, alternative for him, yes. <laughs> He's a nice lad. He's a good lad. I think his obsession just got the better of him. Only in Australia would this happen where a 15 year old kid steals a tram. In the interview, he says, hey, I really want to be a tram driver. The police officer's like, all right, well, I guess, you know, dream's a dream. If you want to be a tram driver, you want to be a tram driver. Case to Smith. What? The youth has also been charged with the theft of another tram on Friday night. Wait, did I just hear that he's being charged with the theft of another tram? How, how lackluster is the security at the Yarra Trams Depot? I reckon at the Yarra Trams Depot right now, if you mention Tram Boy, it's like mentioning Voldemort. He's, he's mentioned in whispered tones, have you heard about Tram Boy? Yes, that's why I got into this business. I love Tram Boy. I love him, I love him so much. I've got a picture of him at my wall at home. Oh shit, here comes a boss. Hello boss, how you going? We're uh, uh, just chilling out, you know, definitely not talking about Tram Boy. So extensive was the teenager's knowledge of trams that he was able to use the three sets of keys in 
order to start them and alter the points on the track to change the direction. The tram boy taught himself with three sets of keys how to operate a tram. This is the kind of expertise we need in society. Have you met 15 year old kids today? They're TikTok addicts. You know, they, they, can, they can barely, their amygdalas are the size of peanuts. They can barely concentrate on anything longer than a minute. This kid took the time out with three sets of keys to steal a tram. He can also somehow move tracks. Wouldn't that be the canary in the coal mine for the passengers? You're sitting down, you see this 15 year old kid in a Polar Express cap, walk out like he was Tom Hanks, change the tracks, get back in, give him a wave and speed off. Wouldn't you be like, maybe I should call the cops right about now? Yarra Trams haven't rejected the idea of recruiting the enthusiast in the future. Anybody who uh, passes the mustard for a recruiting policy would be glad to offer a job to. I hope Tramboy is a tram driver right now. Can you imagine that? The happiness. I, every time I catch a tram now, I look into the face of the driver and I think, is this guy happy? Whenever he drives a tram, it's like taking pure ecstasy. He can't, he can't contain his excitement. What I love about this story as well is that it wasn't a hijacking. You know, he, he did the route. Apparently he did the route better than most tram drivers. Am I a bit in love with Tramboy? Yes. Hit it, hit it, Fergie. All the time I turn around, brothers gather around. Always looking at me up and down, looking at my...